Persona 4. When we last left off, we uh, ran into Carmine and Gordo after Yosuke and, and uh, Narukami here were introduced to the tournament, as was Ragnar prior. So now we ran away from them and uh, we're somewhere else. No, I think we're okay for now. Yes, we're they definitely were okay. Shadows, right? <laughs> no, sh come on, Yosuke. No, they didn't even seem like Persona users. Their fighting style was completely different from ours. Well, you do realize there's like normal humans in this world, right? Like not everybody's a Persona user. Then what are they doing inside the TV? Good question. Think someone tossed them in here? Someone? Who could it be? Not Adachi. I'm pretty sure he... Oh no, he's not dead. He's locked up. Hell if I know. But we didn't come here by choice either. There must be some sort of culprit behind all this. You think? I guess that makes sense. Hmm. So if they were tossed in here too, maybe they had a keystone that they needed to protect. And no, wait, that wouldn't add up. No, dude, you're you're right on the money. Yeah, they weren't trying to protect their keystone. They were trying to take ours. Situational. They didn't have one in particular, but Hyde's got so one. So they've got a different objective in this tournament, huh? Do you think they were the ones who brought us here in the first place? <sighs> oh, no. All this thinking is frying my brain. Let's worry yeah. about that later. Be still, young Isaac Newton. <laughs> They get any harder, you might hurt yourself. So, do you think we're really inside the TV? I've been wondering about that. It's similar, but there aren't any shadows. I can't quite describe why, but it feels different somehow. It's an enclosed right? space. Still, if we're able to summon our personas, then it's definitely not the ordinary world. Yeah, really wishing Teddy or Risei were here to shed some hmm. light on this place right now. Yeah, Risei was it? Her persona like allows her to scan everything, if well, I remember. As long as we can get out of here, I don't care where we are. It is pretty handy that we can use our personas, though. I don't think we would have stood a chance against those guys without them. Oh, no. You only have two giant kunai and a, a samurai sword. I don't know how you could have survived. Yosuke, wait. Someone's coming. I'm using my spidey sense. Huh? Where? Over there. With a beef skewer in each hand. Oh, Christ. Wait. It's fucking huh? cheating. It's yeah, no shit. Yuki, <laughs> Yuki, where, are where are her beef skewers? I don't see nothing in her hands. It's Satonaka. Satonaka. Hanamura. And Narukami kun's with you. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Oh, goodness. That's our line, dummy. What are you doing here? I I don't know. We just stopped to buy some snacks. When I suddenly <laughs> got dizzy, and when I came to, I was here, and Yukiko was gone. Oh, dear. You guys haven't seen her, have you? I thought you two might show up. You you two? That voice She's was not talking there. about teams and everyone going free earlier. I knew we couldn't be the only ones here. Yeah, but I didn't expect Satonaka and Amagi. Okay, something is definitely up. I don't know who's doing this, but Yosuke, why they repeat the same shit over and over? Dude? Um, we hey, get it. You don't just know nothing. Checking. Are we back inside the TV? Actually, we don't really know yet. And are you seriously eating beef skewers right now? <sighs> don't you have more important things to worry about? I was in the middle of eating them when I turned up here. I couldn't bring myself <laughs> to, to just throw, throw them, them away. away. And they'd be no good if they got all cold and hard. Besides, oh if I find God. Yukiko, I can share them with her. You've eaten them all. Yeah, okay. Guess you're not really the type to curl up and cry in the face of the unknown anyway. Not like me or anything. Wait a minute. How do I know you guys are even real? What if you're shadows? <gasps> <laughs> kicks, oh, no, kicks on a moron. Oh, no. My arm's not supposed to bend that way. <laughs> so you really are human. That's funny. Huh. Then that would mean you're the real Narukami kun. Of course, oh, she does it on a moron, not yeah. Narukami. Can you at least let go of my arm before you start celebrating? <laughs> oh my god. Snap it off. I wish I was actually able to see this. You never change, do you, Satanaka? <laughs> you look good, Narukami kun. Uh, is this really the best place to hold a big reunion? <laughs> My arm hurts. Drop, drops his kunai out of pain and stabs his foot. <laughs> so what even is this place? I heard a weird voice oh, earlier God. talking about keystones and punishment and, and stuff. Punishment. You heard it too, huh? <laughs> oh, Not Lordy. sure yet either. But apparently, we can't escape if we don't keep this thing safe. Did it make matters worse? We'll have to suffer some sort of embarrassing punishment too. For real? Are you telling me that if we lose that rock, we're locked up in here forever? 
Don't even say that. <laughs> Narukami and I are searching for an exit, so that won't happen. Hmm. So basically, we've just got to find the goal while keeping that thing safe. Huh. That shouldn't be so bad. Really? Oh, oh Amagi's here. We still don't know oh, no. where Yukiko is. Oh, no, Did you two her. see her or not? Sorry, we haven't. Are you sure Amagi's even here? Well, I just sort of know. I think. I have lesbian senses. <laughs> no, nah, just they're, they're best what friends. What makes you so sure? Hmm, woman's intuition, maybe. Yeah, that. Sounds more like animal instinct. <laughs> Whoa, shit, dude. Uh, that's rude. <laughs> Besides, we were hanging out just before I nice. got whisked away to wherever this is, so it wouldn't be too surprising if she came here with me. Anyway, let's get going. We don't want Yukiko to get scared on her own. Wait, 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 Satanaka. This world's kind of weird, so don't just run off and... Yeah! Well, she's dead. Fine, don't listen to me. Huh? Oh crap, it's Tiger! What the? It's huge! <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh my god. Is it human? Jeez, guys. And Makoto! Weird. They're being kind of rude. <laughs> Are these shadows robots? Robots! Are things Naoto kun so into? Naoto? Naoto? Are you kidding me? Well, well, whatever they are, they're not normal. Wait. Do you think Kirijo san could be involved with this somehow? No. I don't think so. Absolutely You've not. You've got a point. They don't seem like shadows, but they're definitely not ordinary humans either. What is going on? Oh, goodness. Oh, yes. The relationship between these two. <laughs> You're not half bad. That's funny. Neither are you. They're both Damn, very fisticuffs looking. Satonaka included. <laughs> I have the same question. Did you arrive here from another world? Whoa, it spoke! It's sp another world? Are you familiar with the keystones? Uh oh. Did you see the way they reacted? <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a bingo. Forgive me, but you'll have to hand that over to us. Don't worry. We don't intend on using it for evil. Using it? Hold on. Do we need to use this somehow in order to get to the goal? Goal? Hmm. I believe we may yeah. have given conflicting information. Yeah, okay. She's telling everybody all kinds of different shit here. That's how she's pitting them against each other. The voice told us that we need to take this thing to the goal. And that if it was taken from us, we couldn't go home. Are you trying to escape this world too? Yes. Like you, we came from oh. another world. Another world? Yeah, I had a feeling you guys might not be from around here. Oh, God. What tipped off? Maybe a uh, red devil? That's right. First time I've ever been in a place like this. And, and, and freaking demi-human? <laughs> and we just kind of showed up. Wait, that's not quite right. It's like we were already here before we realized it. I see. Same as us, then. Do you have any clue as to who might have done this? Anything you know would be really helpful. We've got no idea why we're here, what this keystone is, where the goal is. We're basically completely stuck. Unfortunately, we don't have any idea. And even if we did, we wouldn't share it with you. We want your keystone. And even if we did, sharing that information there would pose too great a risk. I'm afraid I can't tell you anything. Yeah, well, oh, Mr. Perfect Soldier risk. here. This world is bound by several rules. While the specifics are still a mystery, we do know that if a rule is broken, a penalty will be administered. Yeah, an embarrassing one. A penalty? Like, some kind of punishment? Also, we don't have a lot of time. Honestly, I feel like even talking to you might leave us stuck here forever. <sighs> oh, my bad. That was another rule. Uh... So there's a time limit. That's bad news. We've already said too much. We cannot afford to take any more risks. Capturing targets to minimize uncertainties. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we'll have to resort to force. Honestly, I don't really care. But if the big guy says so. Oh, great. Dude, I was hoping we'd be able to talk things out. It's too late now. We just need to buy ourselves another chance to escape. We can't afford to let them take this. You said it. Stand back, Satonaka. Nanukami and I will. <laughs> okay, ready to go. <laughs> to my stretches. Just need to do my stretches. Oh, hello. Are you listening to me? Nice. Radio entry approved. Wait, so Did I get Chie now instead of Yosuke? You, Nanukami, and Chie Satonaka yeah, nice. versus Tager and Makoto Nanaya. Fight until you're all thought out. Huh? 
I'm not in this one. I'm not in this one. Satonaka, be careful. If anything, you should be thankful, dude. Who do you think you're talking to? Just leave it to us. All right, now actually, I played a little bit of cheat, so I should be pretty good with this team. Get ready, get ready. All right. However, Tager, as I uh, seen, has super armor, like little Mac from Smash Brothers super armor or, or Bowser kind of thing. Can't escape right, from go. crossing fate. Fight! Yeah. Oh fuck! And he's also the Zangief for Blaze Blue, in the sense where he grabs, like grabs her all these fucking attacks. God damn it! No, 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 none of this. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We get the fuck out of here. We're done with you. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there's a super armor there. And you're done now, Tager. Boom, goodbye. Time for you to get down, Nanako. No, Makoto. I almost called you Nanako for a minute. I'm really dumb. Right. And end of you, marvelous. <laughs> awesome. See, Chia is all over the damn place. She's super fast. Makoto, we need to retreat. She's mostly just physical with no projectiles, really. But I can live with that. But I can still fight. <laughs> okay, squirrel girl. Yeah, you did it. Are you two all right? <sighs> Those guys were tough. Uh, hello, Earth to Chie. That was a close call, but <laughs> next time we'll really settle the score. We'll know once and for all which of us is the true Kung Fu master. You and Makoto. Kung Fu what now? <laughs> Did you forget why you were fighting or something? I swear, what happened to the girl who screamed the moment she saw that big guy? Well, the moment I made eye contact with that Makoto girl, <laughs> I felt this tense, burning feeling in my chest. It was breast cancer. Oh, good. That's just what we need. You in full burning battle spirit mode. Oh, give me a break. We couldn't move on without beating those guys anyway, right? Right. It seems that once a battle begins, nobody's allowed to move on until the other team is defeated. It must be one of the rules this world is bound by, to borrow the big guy's term. Then this hmm. definitely isn't the Midnight Channel. One thing's for sure, though. Whoever set this all up is bad news. Those guys we fought were really incredible, though. That big <gasps> robot guy? Oh, he was tough for sure, but that Makoto girl was super strong for someone so cute. Someone with awesome under boobage. Was it just me, or did she have ears? Huh? <laughs> ears? Uh, well, duh. I have ears, too. Oh, my not God. Not those ears. Did you seriously not notice while you were fighting her? She had a big, bushy tail-like thing, too, right? So what? That was probably just cosplay. Cosplay. Nuh-uh, nice. that thing was real. That big dude wasn't flesh and blood either. If they're not personas and they're not shadows, then what are they? Well, they did say they came from another world. Hmm. So does that mean these other worlds are full of things that we didn't know could exist? Like Teddy in the TV world? Basically. Or like giant robot men and squirrel people? Also, basically. Mm, I'm still not sure if he was a robot or not. Cyborg, if you want to be specific. But anyway, we actually met these I'm pretty people. Pretty sure he was like we originally managed a red ogre to communicate or with them. Even if Satonaka and that Makoto girl weren't exactly speaking in any sort of human language. <laughs> nice. Masters have no need for words. <laughs> Whatever you say. Anyway, the first two guys that Narukami and I encountered seemed to know each other. Maybe everyone we'll run into here is just trying to get back to wherever they came from. You might be right. And since this stone is their key to escaping, they want to get it from us, whatever it takes. Well, not all of them are going to be related, I'm but sure. But didn't it seem like Tager and Makoto had a different objective than we did? Yeah, but they did mention that they might get stuck here. So they're probably trying to get out too, even if they're trying to do it in a different way. Hmm, I don't really get it, but I'd feel bad if we were the only ones here who got to go home. I agree, but there's no guarantee that we'll even make it back. We can't afford to worry about everyone else. Uh, maybe, but for now, let's just get back to finding Yukiko. You said Amagi was gone when you found yourself here, right? Yeah, but after I got dizzy, I felt like I was falling. I swear, I heard her scream. She must be here. I believe you. I bet you set up with someone like Rachel here. or something. We someone should move so on. elegant. Or else those two might come back for us. Roger, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Coolsies, so uh, team of three. I will sometimes switch off at the two. 
Where are we? Everything looks so different all of a sudden. Well, we'll find out where we are next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you to play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Please.